Mr. Speaker, President Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States, was quoted as saying, when Congress is in plenary, Congress is in exhibition. When Congress is in committee, Congress is at work. Mr. Speaker, let us put aside politics. Let us look at what is before us. What is before us is for us to determine, Mr. Speaker, whether we shall uphold the will of the people of Meru as opposed to the will of 68 members of County Assembly of Meru. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask my colleagues, none of us here is an expert on everything. No senator, Mr. Speaker, is an expert on everything. That is why, Mr. Speaker, we, res we recede to committees so that we can have the benefit of expertise of people who know this stuff. Mr. Speaker, there are audit queries amongst the charges that you have read. Some are lawyers here, some are social scientists, some are engineers, some are traders. You cannot claim to be able to be so knowledgeable that here you are a lawyer, here you are an audit person, and you prosecute the matter in the manner at the depth at which it is required, Mr. Speaker. So I, am, I want to urge my fellow colleagues that if we have trust in the capacities of our fellow uh, senators, let us give them that opportunity. And I wanted to ask my sister, Gloria, Senator Gloria, Honorable Senator Gloria, Distinguished Honorable Senator Gloria, uh, Her Highness, Mr. Speaker, I wanted to request her to think about this, to think about this. The issue of whether the governors who are being selected to sit in that committee, former governors, balances, you can have one way of looking at it, you can have the other way of looking at it. The other way, Mr. Speaker, is that these governors have lived through these experiences, live experience, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, they will be of great use. They will be able to help the committee. What, what is your point about uh, Senator Gloria? I thought you've been... Mr. Speaker, I was at the floor of the House executing my point, and I was reprimanded for mentioning that two former governors will be sitting in that committee. Mr. Speaker, the same has been done by a male senator and it is okay with the House. These are the things that I'm talking about. You should retract your statement referencing any former governor sitting in any committee with regards to the impeachment. That is what we are talking about. Gender sensitivity. Senator, senator Gloria. I think uh, Senator Mungatana was trying to look at the wealth of experience each of these proposed names bring to the committee. Senator Mgatana, proceed. Mr. Speaker, I, I don't wish to be distracted in my train of thinking, but I want to urge my fellow friends and colleagues in this house, please, please, let us not be emotional about this thing. Let us put the correct people. And Mr. Speaker, when, I, when I'm looking at this list and commenting on the competences of the membership that has been proposed, I'm not out of order. When I say there are legal issues, and maybe we have lawyers there. When I say there are governance issues, and there are people who have been governors before. Mr. Speaker, I'm not out of order to say that the list that has been proposed, Mr. Speaker, is a competent list. And Mr. Speaker, I wanted also to point out this issue. 
that whenever we are forming committees, we try to bring regional balance. I have looked at this, this uh, list, the proposed list, Mr. Speaker. I see that the category of regional balance has been met. The category of new and old members of this Senate has been met. Mr. Speaker, uh, 